This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders League. I am shot like this is the second division game between Charlemagne and Bismarck. Charlemagne number 16 in the league with 6 points. Bismarck number 2 with 15. Charlemagne with 203 form. He did win Diplo round 9 at Churchill, ending a 3 game losing streak. Bismarck in 3 1 1 form. After back-to-back -back wins and he is undefeated in his last four games. This is Charlemagne's starting position. Resource bubbles on for a moment. We see corn, horses, some incense and some iron over here. He starts to the northwest on the starting continent. It's this uh, big weird one. And in the southeast we find the starting position of Bismarck Riverside with some sugar, some cows, there is dice here and some bananas appear as well. So let's get the game rolling shall we? This is Charlemagne trying to get out of the relegation zone versus Bismarck trying to stay in promotion. Bottom versus top in the league. Charlemagne. Uh, with one city Bismarck, first to two cities, two cities each. Bismarck is pleased with Charlemagne in the beginning of the game at least. Charlemagne in Buddhism, Bismarck doesn't have a religion. Charlemagne down to 0.7, the strength of Bismarck as well. Three cities each at the moment. Four cities for Charlemagne, five cities Charlemagne. He's expanding faster than Bismarck in the beginning here then. Five to three in the city counts for Charlemagne. And four cities for Bismarck now. 65 Charlemagne. Charlemagne has expanded a little bit faster. 135 turns now. Six, but Bismarck is up to seven cities suddenly. He has expanded by settling more cities. And they are also going to, yeah, there is a lot of land in between them. Seven cities Charlemagne, eight cities Bismarck. They are equal in points, approximately equal in strength. Eight cities each. In different religions, but Bismarck is still pleased with Charlemagne. Nine cities now Charlemagne. Ten cities Bismarck. They are changing and having the lead in the city count. And it looks like they are approximately equal in score as well. Bismarck a little bit higher in score now. Charlemagne a little bit weaker down to 0.6 the strength of Bismarck. 13 cities Bismarck. 10 cities Charlemagne. We have passed turn 200. We are at turn 208. 13 cities Bismarck. And it looks like he is getting a little bit ahead, both in score and in strength. He has twice the strength of Charlemagne, but he is pleased, so he may not want to go to war. He's going for optics and astronomy, Bismarck. Charlemagne is going machinery. 16 cities now for Bismarck. He has really expanded well. He is settling on the continent down south of the starting continent down there as well. And Charlemagne seems to have stopped at 10 cities. Bismarck is getting astronomy as well and both of them on engineering at the moment. Turn 242. 17 cities Bismarck, 10 cities Charlemagne. Bismarck with a clear advantage in city count. Bismarck with a clear advantage in score and in strength. 18 cities now Bismarck, 11 Charlemagne. As Charlemagne settled the island as you can see in the middle of the screen at the moment. Turn 252, 20 cities Bismarck, 11 cities Charlemagne. And Charlemagne is down to 0 0.4, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 the strength of Bismarck. 0.4 right now. And going paper while Bismarck is going nationalism. I don't think that this is going to stay peaceful all game, but maybe it will. 20 cities Bismarck, Bismarck is so much bigger that he should be thinking about going to war to win the domination. But 21 cities to 11, Bismarck going uh, chemistry as well, turn to 74, 23 cities to 11, Charlemagne only point for the strength, and Bismarck with an advantage in score, and there is the diplomatic victory, and Bismarck what are you doing, you giving away the diplo win to Charlemagne, and Charlemagne really needed this because he is fighting to get out of relegation, but this means Bismarck that you won't be keeping up with Sir Arman if Sir Arman wins, we don't know that yet, he hasn't played yet. But congratulations to Charlemagne with the diplomatic victory, 1822 AD, turn 281.
peaceful game with no wars. We can congratulate Charlemagne with getting Bismarck to vote for him to win the game. Congratulations Charlemagne with that. Let's go take a look at the graphs and uh, the other stuff here. Uh, statistics, we see Charlemagne in the yellow, Bismarck in the white. This is the score. This is the uh, gold production, food, power, culture, and espionage. So, demographics then. We see Charlemagne's numbers to the left, and we see Bismarck's numbers to the right. Uh, not some big numbers, but then again, it was not. Uh, it was a relatively early game uh, ending. Top six cities, I understand. The Great Wall in the BC era, the rest in the 80s. We see Bismarck with the top two cities. Charlemagne has the third city and the fourth. And Bismarck then the fifth and Charlemagne the sixth. Statistics. Charlemagne, 11 cities built, 5 religions, currently on 14 mines, 13 towns and 10 windmills he did build in his cities. 10 granaries and barracks, and 9 of a lot of stuff, and 6 of a lot of stuff, 1 the Mahabodhi. Let's go page down and see the apostolic palace at the bottom of the list of units. Uh, list of buildings, not units. Uh, this is the list of units. I get confused sometimes. Current units for Charlemagne, 15 longbowmen, 8 X-men, 7 workers down to 1 crossbowman. He did train in his cities. Let's get to the top here. There we are. 25 Buddhist missionaries, 23 archers, 20 galleys, and down to 1 great prophet. The kills then, 0, and the losses, 0. Then we go to Bismarck. And see Bismarck's numbers, 24 cities built, 2 religions, 2 golden ages, currently on 21 farms, 17 windmills and 12 towns. He did build in the cities, 18 granaries, 15 lighthouses, 14 barracks, 1 Stonehenge, and let's go page down. And see 1, the Parthenon at the bottom of the list. Let's go to current units for Bismarck then. 35 longbowmen, 16 cuirassiers, 14 musketmen, down to 1 chariot, and he trained in his cities. 29 archers, 26 settlers and longbowmen, down to 1 Jewish missionary. Let's go page down and see 1 great artist completing the list of units trained. Let's confirm the kills to be 0 and the losses to be 0, and then we go take a look at the victory condition screen. Here we have the numbers, the score is not, uh, well, Bismarck is number one in score, he had the more population, more land area, and when it comes to culture it seems like Bismarck was better there as well. Charlemagne built the Apostolic Palace and did win the game though. Let's go take a look at the cities. Charlemagne has 11 of them, let's sort by population. Mainz is pop 10 and we see pop 9s and 8 and 6s. Happy and healthy with the exception of mains is unhappy. We see the base food is in the 20s, 25 in Ulm though, and in the 10s. The base commerce, not that big uh, production. You know, being this early, it is actually good to have double digit uh, base production. So this is good, I believe. Let's go take a look at the cities of Bismarck then to compare. Let's go Bismarck, OK. And then we change to Bismarck, and then we take a look at his list, sort by population. We see Berlin on top with 16 pops, Munich, Cologne, Dortmund, and Duisburg, 11. They are happy, healthy uh, in the 20s, uh, the top cities at least, and 32 in Berlin for base food. Base commerce is a little bit better, 59 in Berlin, and 30s, and 20s, and stuff like that. We also see here not so good production, though. only two cities with a base production of 10 or more, building a lot of units, uh, culture in Chemnitz and Braunschweig, and this is the list. Spoiler alert, results and updated league tables follows after this screen. Congratulations then with the Diplo victory to Charlemagne, and this was very important. He got himself out of the relegation zone. He is now number 13 with 8 points, negative 29 score turn difference. Bismarck stays second with 15 points and positive 62 score difference. Next game up is Budica versus Mao Zedong, and that comes a little bit later today. I am Shotlike, -like. this has been the Noble Leaders League. I hope to see you back for the second game. Goodbye for now. 